In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. You are in the midst of us, O Lord, and we are called by your name. Welcome to evening prayer at uh, St Michael and All Angels in Christchurch, New Zealand. I hope that these words that we say together will give you some comfort for your evening that you are about to have and in the time that we are in. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Behold, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But upon you the Lord shall rise, and the glory of the Lord will appear upon you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to, your, to the brightness of your rising. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin or destruction within your borders. But you will call your walls salvation, and all your gates praise. No more shall the sun be your light by day, nor by night will you need the brightness of the moon. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. First reading this evening comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 5, beginning at the first verse. Let me sing for my beloved my love song concerning his vineyard. My beloved had a vineyard on a very fertile hill. He dug it and cleared it of stones and planted it with choice vines. He built a watchtower in the midst of it. He hewed of out a wine vat in it. He expected it to yield grapes, but it yielded wild grapes. And now, inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah, judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I have not done in it? When I expected it to yield grapes, why did it yield wild grapes? And now I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will remove its hedge, and it shall be devoured. I will break down its wall, and it shall be trampled down. I will make it a waste, and it shall not be pruned or hoed, and it shall be overgrown with briars and thorns. I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel and the people of Judah. Uh, his pleasant planting. He expected justice, but saw bloodshed, righteousness, but heard a cry. The second reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, beginning at verse 33. Jesus said, listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to, to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, he will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the harvest time. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures? 
The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realized that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Behold, darkness covers the earth. We said that one already today. I beg your pardon. I forgot to remove my bookmark. It's been a long day. Let's try that again. Christ Jesus, our Lord, was manifested in the flesh and was vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations. He was believed on in the world and was taken up in glory. He will be, he will be revealed in due time by God, the blessed and only ruler, the sovereign Lord of all, who alone has immortality and dwells in inapproachable light, whom no one has ever seen or can see, to whom alone be honour and might for ever and ever. Amen. Oh, let us pray. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love towards us, you sent your Son to take our nature upon him and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his great humility and share in his glorious resurrection through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. loving creator of all. Watch over us this night and keep us in the light of your presence. May our praise continually blend with the song of all creation until we come to those eternal joys which you promise in your love. Through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Thank you for joining us here. Um, for evening prayer on Palm Sunday. I hope that these words and prayers and the scriptures that we have heard have helped you in some way. I hope you can join us again tomorrow at 8 o'clock for morning prayer on, Holy, on Monday in Holy Week. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. To God who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask or think. Be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus 
from generation to generation forever. Amen.